Relics and Rarities is sponsored by The Rook and the Raven, whose unique disc-bound tabletop gaming notebooks grow and evolve throughout your entire campaign. Find your mischief and misadventure only at therookandtheraven.com. So, Mr. Fluffy actually gets to go first. You are on Mr. Fluffy's back right now. Okay, I'm on his back. You were on his back because you rode him up, right? Uh, yes. Yes. So he moves further away. <laughs> to so, get me back with, so he, with me. With you on him, with me he on backs him. up. Okay, he, yeah, you're you're ten feet away, so you can do that. So what on like a tree limb, you go back a little bit. Yeah, just okay. go back a little bit. So you back up a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. Cool. So he takes a big branch and just sort of backs Kinda up on this backs big up branch. And like, like perches a little bit. Cool. Yeah. So you, you were 10 feet from it, now you're like 15. Uh, yes. Okay. okay, cool. That was Fluffy's turn. Virus. Virus, where exactly am I pointing this big hammer? He can't see. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> Not great. I see something, but. <laughs> I, I can see everything. Yeah. Yes, you can see everything. You want to tell him what, like, distance or something? Yeah, just, just, just approximate. Yeah. You uh, can tell him it's 15 feet in, in front of him. Okay. Oh, so that's, a, that's a, okay, yes, yeah, 15 yeah. Feet, feet directly in front of you. If I turn to my left, there it is, okay, 15 Down feet in front. Oh, I'm going after this S-O. Finish the abbreviation. So you run forward towards it, you run 15 feet the best you can. I mean, I'm going at him. All right, so yes. Swinging uh, my hammer. <laughs> I'm gonna use my fancy thing again. <laughs> so, Viros swings his hammer and runs towards to, till, until you can sense. Sorry, like, I mean, at a certain point, I'm gonna be able to make out uh, what I'm getting at. I mean, it can't I'm, be that dark, right? Yeah, I'm giving you that you're in dark vision in terms of like yeah. anything, but as soon as you get up close, you're like, like yeah, I can sense something. Yeah, and I'm, I'm ready, I'm going. Yeah. You're still gonna take disadvantage on your attack. Understood. Doesn't phase me. Although, mm, you know what? I take that back. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back. Because you have two attacks? Oh, easily two. Okay, great. So we'll take both of those. Wonderful. You're right there. You can feel it. All right, so great. So if the 15 and a 16. Right. All right, and you've got six each. Oh, yeah. yeah. Both of those are gonna hit. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I got a two. <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> no, it's, 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 oh, no, it's five. Five bludgeoning. Okay, five. Yep, and oh, there we go, nine. And a nine. Yeah, <laughs> double hits. <laughs> Suck on that, you big rat. <laughs> That's what I said so, yeah. when I hit them, when I made contact with the hammer. <laughs> I said, "Suck on that, you big rat." You catch that? Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. So we'll say once you're within, like, if you're in melee distance, I'm gonna remove the disadvantage right. because you can feel it. It's there. You can see it through the little bit of light. It's just if you're backed up, right. we'll still keep your disadvantage on it, unless you have dark vision. All right, anything else, Feroz? Action surge, I'd like to use it All again. All right, go for it. I don't mess around. <laughs> so again, two more attacks. There it is, 18 oh. and 19. Ooh, the day hits. is mine. <laughs> Beerus is just swinging like a wild yeah. man, right and left. That hammer's just knocking that's into this thing. Six. That's a decent. That's good. good. That's Don't you look good. at me like that, Beryl. <laughs> and another six. Eat it. Chomp on it, and then digest. Rat face. <laughs> is what I said. <laughs> so what is it all together? What did you roll for oh, damage? It was, it was a six and a six. A six and a six. So six 12 and a six. more? Yep, all right. 12 more. <laughs> all right, you take all of that. Now I would like you, as, as you come closer up to it, um, and it looks down at you, and, and, and you, you can see into its eyes, which are all kind of looking in the wrong directions, uh, make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Not afraid of that. Yeah. 12 plus 1, 13. A 13. <laughs> if I had a long cigarette at this moment, I'd ask him to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> so this it's it's so it's so confusing this like 
uh, it's looking everywhere and it's making you kind of strange. You don't you don't really know what to yeah. what to take with it. So you cannot take reactions until the start of your next turn. And I am going to roll a d8 to determine what you do on that turn. Oh my gosh. Hmm. But I might roll it when it happens. I think that'll be more <laughs> fun. Wait, I don't understand what happened. He's been affected? Yes. Mm -hmm. So as he came close in and saw the eyes of this Umber Hulk, which are kind of crazy and looking all over the place, it mm -hmm. like confused him and made him all like disoriented. Because he's simple. <laughs> <laughs> Simply amazing. <laughs> uh, but I did hit it. I did you damage. Did, you hit it. You did the damage. Okay, it's just that also it kind of made you confused, and it means that on it, his he can't take reactions because he's sort of confused. And on the next okay. turn, TBD. we'll determine what you do. TBD. Yeah, we'll determine what you do. Great. Up next is Beryl. Yeah. So, seeing that Viros is in the battle, I won't be outdone. So uh, <laughs> I. Uh, Pull from my back, you know, one of my pack, pack pockets. <laughs> Instead of back pockets, one of my pack it's a pack pockets. pockets. Right? It's a pee -pee. I pull pack out, pocket. like, you know, a beer, drink it, smash it on the ground, <laughs> <laughs> slap myself on the face a couple times. Belch. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> let, out, let out a nice big burp, grab Betty, and I'm like, you're trying to kill it with paper cuts? And like, <laughs> rush forward, <laughs> taking, taking uh, you know, my rage form. All right. Dang. All right, so my first attack gets advantage because it's a reckless attack. You got it, and then I have advantage on you. So I get a 12 and then plus seven, 19. A 19 will hit. Okay. And I do seven. Slashing damage. Plus uh, your rage damage, right? Oh yeah, plus so two. Nine. So yep. All right. Nine damage, and then I'll take another strike. Uh-huh. That's 11 plus an 18. 18 hits. Yeah. Good. Good. Ooh. Ooh, and that does 15 plus two, 17. 17 Ooh. damage on that second one. Wow. wow. Man, so Beryl seeing uh, you know, what Virus did as, as Virus hacks at it a couple, or, or, or whacks at it with his uh, Warhammer a couple times, swigs her beer, throws it on the ground, comes forward with Betty in just one. Yeah. Two, straight across both of them cutting deeply into the Umber Hulk. You see its mandibles kind of clacking a little bit in pain while you do this. Yeah. It is now Ricky's turn. Okay, so because I have dark vision, I can see what's you can going see. on. I want to like sort of assess him. How does he look physically? Like, is he pretty beat up or does he look like he's still mm -hmm. raring to go? He looks pretty, pretty bloodied, mm -hmm. to use a 4E term. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. But he's still going at it. Yeah, yeah. He's, still, he's still got some fight in him. Got it. But he's not looking, he's not looking great. Okay, I'm going to grab something from my pouch, uh -huh. and I pull out a vial that's like a long V. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's glass, and you can see through it that it's like pink swirls, like mm -hmm. those old toys. So you shake it a bit, and it's like glitter inside of it. Ooh. And uh, I'm gonna chuck it at the Umber Hulk. Go ahead and chuck. Yeah, and it has to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I'm casting Fairy Fire on it. Ooh, very nice. It totally fails. Cool. Ah. So the the vial smashes yes. on him, and he, a, a green outline appears, um, glowing all so around him. All around him, and it lights up like the whole area. Yeah. So now all of you with, with who don't have dark vision can see and target it, no problem. Ah. Beryl, we forgot you also need to make a charisma saving throw okay. for being yeah. seeing its eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, eight. <laughs> An eight? You also cannot take your reaction. Okay. And uh, you, I, we will also roll a d8 to find out what happens to you. Okay. Um, but also, it's a 20 foot cube, so Beryl and Vera oh, are also glowing because green. Because fantastic. Oh, wait, no. And you look I think amazing. It's just... Well, I'm sure with the green light, it only enhances things. Anything else you want to do after lighting everyone green? Uh, no, and this is a spell that I have to concentrate on. Okay. So I have to so make sure that damage, I concentrate. Yeah. We'll have some issues. All right, Annabella. I would like to put this creature to sleep. Yeah. Okay. So. And you can see it now. I can <laughs> see it. But I just want to be clear uh -huh. I am looking at its mouth and not its eyes. So I have not made eye contact. You're Ooh. specifically trying not to look at its gaze. Actually, do you know what? Since I'm higher up, I'm looking at I'm looking at its like n his spine right here, not okay. in his mouth. So you can avert your eyes to avoid avoid the saving throw, mm -hmm. but it means you can't see the Umber Hulk. So you will roll at disadvantage, but I believe sleep doesn't require it. Ah. No. So so you're 99. not looking at the eyes. Yeah. You're gonna cast sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm casting it. All right, great. It. 
Four. Ooh. Three. Seven. Seven. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> Humbled. <laughs> One again. Thank you very much. Humbled. And that's your five? Yeah. So 16. 16. You cast that, and as the rest of you who are still sort of looking at it, especially, the, you do see its eyes kind of droop a little bit, but they come back up. Mm. And it doesn't seem doesn't to work. have worked. Oh. oh, great. Okay, hanging on to the tree. Oh. Hanging on to the tree. It is now its turn. It likes the, the pretty glowing things in front of it. Oh, no. Um, oh, so I think it's going to. Okay, yeah, because I'm up here now. You're up there too. I think you're the most recent attack and you really hurt, so it's going to come down on you. First, it's going to take its claws and try to rake them down through your front. Mm hmm. I have a natural 20. Oh, that. that's gonna hurt. Uh, so you are going to take, I also have advantage on you. You do, <laughs> you do. Okay, so that is going to be five. Do you still have your berry? No, I no, gave it away. Yeah, they away. So you will take 18 slashing damage from oh, my claw. Oh, is it slashing? It's slashing. While I'm raging, I'm resistant. <gasps> so you so take I only take nine. Take oh. nine of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, That's a win. <laughs> <laughs> However, he then comes down on you again with his mandibles to try okay. and bite you. And I have okay. advantage. And it's high math. So I'm pretty sure I hit you on that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is also slashing damage, though. Okay. So you can take half of it again. Um, that is 19 damage, so you'll take another nine. Oh gosh, okay. On that. So as those of you watching, you see, you see this glowing green thing go down and slash through another glowing green thing, and then teeth come down and try to gnaw at your, mm -hmm. your, your shoulder uh, again as you all glow green. Mm -hmm. That is, it's so you averted your eyes, you're all good. All right, mm -hmm. we are up to Ionis. Yes, I reach into my quiver. Okay. Aim my bow. Okay. Draw back okay. and let one launch. All right, so uh, roll your attack and add your attack bonus. Yep. 11 plus 8. 11 plus 8. Oh, yes, you have 19. Yeah. You hit. So your arrow comes streaking out and lodges right in its, uh, its bulk. Um, roll your damage for it. Mm -hmm. Four plus, uh, so seven. So seven damage. That flies through, and, and, and again, it kind of <laughs> kind of takes that and hurts. And you have two attacks, so you can do that two again. Two attacks, and I do it one more time. Okay, roll another d20. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Plus okay. eight. Plus, Plus eight. eight. So Ooh. eighteen. You hit. I hit, and then roll your damage. An eight. An eight. Eight damage. All right. Another one lodges in its side and it sticks true, and it makes another kind of reel. However, you are now also you are within thirty feet, so you are going to make a charisma saving throw as well because you did not avert your eyes. Eight plus. Uh, one to nine. <laughs> you, what a clumsy uh, fool I am. Also <laughs> cannot take your reactions and we'll roll a D8 to find out what happens to you. Okay. Everyone. Uh, is everyone okay? <laughs> We're all like kind of hypnotized. Everyone's just uh, kind of like, oh, I'm so confused. All right, we are back to Mr. Fluffy. Okay. <laughs> what would Mr. Fluffy like to do? Are you still on his back? I am still on You did back. not dismount, I that's true. Oh no! Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> we were still kind of in your turn, so if you'd like to say that you dismounted. Yeah, I, I dismounted. All right, you dismounted. <laughs> I'm just standing next to him. I'm just kind of woozy. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fluffy, what does Mr. Fluffy uh, Mr. Fluffy, do? so he can pounce, yeah? He can. From at least 20 feet, but as I'm 30 as feet moves, uh, you, you are 15 feet from him at this point, 15, but oh. he could back up. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and get it. Mr. Fluffy rears back. Gonna go back okay. five, so he's got 20. Yeah, 20, and he leaps. Oh. Oh. Pounces on him. Pounces on him. Oh, All right, God. you're gonna do an, I think it's an attack roll for your claws. Okay. And then I think I make a strength saving throw against it, or if I fall prone, you can make another bite attack. Yep, okay. that's right. Okay. Okay. And then uh, you're gonna add plus five to this roll. Plus five to this. Roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Come okay. on. So you're gonna you you run forward Go and he, he claws at the. So, so is this plus five? Uh -huh. So it's twelve. It's a twelve. Unfortunately, he misses. He tries to rake across the armor of this beast. But now let me make the strength saving throw to see if I stand up. I do. So unfortunately, you can't make the bite. And now, Mr. Fluffy needs to make a charisma oh. saving throw. He's oh. gonna roll that oh, in. Yeah. Oh. Is that a negative one. Is that a negative one? Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> roll that crit. 18. Yeah. yeah! Negative Jeez. one, so 17. That's me! Hey, what a cool Mr. Fluffy cat. is like the, the only one. He's a cool <laughs> cat. He's a, a very, very cool <laughs> cat. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we are on Virus's turn, so Virus, we're going to determine what you do by you rolling a d8. Three. 
You rolled a three. All right. On a one to four, the creature does nothing on its turn. Oh gosh. So unfortunately, you're just caught in the uh, in the 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 deadlights <laughs> of his eyes. Barrel, roll a d8. A d8. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get eaten. <laughs> um, can I borrow your d8? Thank you. Four. Huh? A four. Same for you. You do okay. nothing on this turn. All right. Nothing. So we're gonna go back and we'll say. So we came around. Uh, <sighs> Mr. Fluffy avoided the gaze and attacked. Unfortunately, he didn't hit and do any damage, but he's mm -hmm. right up in there. Viros, we roll the d8, and you will do nothing on this turn. But you have a possibility to avert your eyes if you would like. Done. <laughs> All right, Viros, mm -hmm. while he does nothing, you watch him, and he just slowly kind of turns away and covers his eyes. Beryl, same mm -hmm. for you. You can do nothing, but you may also avert your eyes if you would like. Beryl's gonna kind of be like, oh, confound it, and kind of like turn around. <laughs> Your two fighters that are yeah. right up in front of it, they both cover their eyes yeah. <laughs> and cower. Ricky, your turn. Okay, so um, I'm going to take out a small container, mm -hmm. and it actually has like a screw top. And I'm gonna unscrew it, and there's like a white cream inside. Mm. And I'm just gonna start smearing it on my face <sighs> and all over. Okay. This is interesting because it's new to D&D, to &D, oh. and it's a new circle of druid. So he's actually circle of dreams, which comes with the balm of the summer court. Okay. So this is a spell, uh, you become imbued with the blessings of the summer court. You are a font of energy that lends relief to weary feet and respite from injuries. You have a pool of fey energy represented by a number of d6s equal to your druid level. As a bonus action, you can choose an ally you see within 120 feet, spend a number of those dice equal to half your druid level or less. Roll those, add them together, they gain hit points. Okay. There they go. Okay, so I have 10, 14, 18. On this turn, because I'm activating it, uh, has anybody been hit yet? You've I'm been like hit. dying. Cool, 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 <laughs> cool. The six and the four. Yeah. I give them to you as ten. <gasps> oh, thank you. Go. So this like uh, this cream that I've rubbed yeah. all over myself, there's sort of like this translucent vapor that that's that I can kind of manipulate, and I'll push it in her direction, oh. so it moves Wild. through the air. Awesome through the air, and, and, and you see it, it sort of wraps around your head and, and you're mm -hmm. wherever your wounds are, and they start to again kind of yeah. knit together a yeah. little bit. And Beryl just kind of remarks, minty fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Still kind of like recovering from the days of the eyes. <laughs> Smells like peppermint. And Ricky, I assume you did not look at the Elmer Hulk. You averted no, I was your eyes. At, uh, Fantastic. At Beryl. So you did not look at <laughs> Averted your eyes at him. All right, Annabella, you are still okay because you averted oh, your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to pull out my gray bag of tricks. Woo! And I am just oh. going to go I'm ahead throw and <laughs> roll a D8. Comes out. <laughs> Here we go. Please be big and scary. <laughs> oh, good. A two. Well, you, well, you never know. So I have got my. Self. It's on your at the bottom of mm -hmm. that sheet. You'll see I listed them all. Here we go. I got a giant rat. You got a giant oh. rat. So Annabella. That's what I called it. Her bag mm -hmm. with her eyes closed. <laughs> Pulls something out and throws this furry <laughs> object into the air, which in the air goes. <laughs> 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 it turns, it, it turns into a giant rat, which falls on the ground, <laughs> looking everywhere. Yeah. But it is loyal to you, so what would you have it do? Where did it land? Because um, I didn't look. I, just I mean, it would it. be like a random direction. Because I mean, you threw it in that way. You yeah. can throw it twenty feet. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it landed like at its feet. All right, it landed at its feet. Yeah. I want it to crawl up. Okay. And start eating its belly button. Okay. Trying to rip so, its bowels out. So you oh, should yeah. shout that out to your. To no, yeah. Worst choice. So it's a, it's a rat. It doesn't like communicate. So how would you try right. to tell like a your pet rat to do that? What would you do? I would say go for the sausage. <gasps> and, uh, and it would just try and get all the casings from the intestines. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> go Sick. for the sausage. So you say go for the sausage, sausage. Yeah, and point at it. You are capable of yeah. great violence. All right. The little rat <laughs> scampers up the belly to the to there and you see it. <laughs> and opens up to try to bite. Make a bite attack. Come on, teether. <laughs> Got an eight. Bite attack is plus four. Ooh. So a twelve. It, you see it bite into the belly of this thing, and it's <laughs> <laughs> but it can't get through its exoskeleton. Okay. But it's kind of holding on and trying to shake around a little bit. It's trying. Okay. 
That's its turn. That's its turn. And that's your turn. All right. All right, that was on a Vela. Its turn. <laughs> There's this thing burning <laughs> in its belly. Averting its uh, eyes. <laughs> Averting its eyes. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna reach down and try to claw at the thing at its belly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the AC Eight. is 12. <laughs> yeah, 18 to hit the giant rat. It's gonna hit the giant rat with its claw, and then it's gonna take 13 damage. Dead rat! <laughs> <laughs> So the Fluffy claw looks. sweeps down, it <laughs> grabs this giant rat, brings it up, and kind of like hurls it, dead rat, into the oh. distance. Fluffy. Mr. Fluffy catches it. Fluffy. <laughs> oh, no. It's a snack. It's a snack. We're all oh, <laughs> It then looks down at the two helpless humans in front of it, and, and its mandibles come down again mm -hmm. onto you. It doesn't have advantage anymore. It does not have advantage anymore, no. and it, I'm sure it misses. I have an AC of 12. I hit you. Okay. Uh, right. So yes, the mandibles come down and they just grip onto you there. That is eight plus five, 13, 13. slashing damage. It takes six. But you take half of it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should have read all of the spell. You also get one temporary, uh, two temporary hit points because I spent two dice. Okay. okay. And you get plus five to your speed for each die that I spent. So you get plus 10 uh, to your speed. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you're quicker. So essentially, you just and took six damage, you would take four instead. Okay. Because you would have used those two temp hit points. Right, silver lining. But that only lasts for one minute. <laughs> it'll be fine. Okay. Which is, we're only six seconds into yeah. your spell, it'll, so you've got plenty of time fine. for that. That is its turn. Uh, Ionis. Six. Mm -hmm. A six, okay. On a five or six, the creature takes no action, but uses all of its movement to move in a random direction. <laughs> So, oh, no. <laughs> what I'd like you to do is roll a d4, and on a one you'll go north, a two you'll go east, a three you'll go south, and a four you'll go west. Okay. Yep. Yeah, is this one? Yep. Yeah. A one. A one. Oh, a one, so that's north. So you can move 25 feet. 25 feet north. All okay. right, so you jump down into these briars, uh -huh. which start to sting you, and you will take some piercing damage, but you will not take the poison, poison damage. Okay. And you run forward, this is difficult terrain, this is difficult terrain, so you're gonna get to about there, okay. about 15 yeah. for that. Yeah. As you run through the briar, and it, it, it claws at your legs, and you make it out into the center of the path there. So now Mr. Fluffy, who's okay. right underneath it. Who's right underneath it. Does Mr. Fluffy avert his eyes? <laughs> He rolled so well. He rolled time. so yeah, well. He's growing level. I mean, he's growing level. Right now, you're not giving commands to it yeah, uh, because you're just doing your thing. But if, if you th if you feel that Mr. Fluffy would know to get behind or something like that, I'll allow that. Okay, okay. Fluffy, arukata! <laughs> and then Fluffy knows that means get behind it. Okay, <laughs> okay, we'll allow for that. So, Mr. Fluffy. <laughs> so, Fluffy just see, he sort of shifts around to the back, staying within five feet. Mm -hmm. All right, is he going to make attacks? Uh, and then, Oops. yes. Okay. Plus five, so it's 12. It's a 12 hit, unfortunately does he <sighs> does not, is not able to get through that tough exoskeleton. Uh -huh. Viros, you are now free of your confusion. That I am. You are. Do you know what does get through exoskeletons, folks? Mm. I'm assuming my double hand axes. I'm going to rely on my remembrance of where this creature is. Okay. Even though I cannot see it, okay, I can smell it. Okay, so you're going to keep your eyes averted. It's averted. It's right there. I'm, I'm a gonna, trained it, it professional. Ha it hasn't moved. When the chips are down, this man <laughs> rises to the occasion. <laughs> so, having said all that, I have a double attack. With his eyes closed. Yeah. I just rear back, I go, smell him and just launch one. Which is a 16. Plus something Plus six. you'll hit, yeah. I mean, it's oh. a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> so I yelled suck on that again because okay. it was a theme earlier when I was less, you know, advantage. So here's the second attack. It's a four plus six, which is obviously a 10. All right. So that's my double hand axes, both axes, right? They so the first, the first one hits, the second one misses. Okay, well, I mean. On that, so roll your damage for the first one. Damage, damage, damage. Eat damage. Okay. One plus three is four. It's four. All right. Woo! I know that much from school, so all right. 
The second one misses, so. Second one missed. But it's like, it's embedded in him somewhere, isn't it? The first one, just a chunk through the exoskeleton. Yes, yeah, so it got and there's through. There's the science that I've learned. With that blade. Yeah. Proven, I'm learning. <laughs> Beryl. I didn't kill it. You are now un I grew weary of this creature's games. Yes. I am going to attempt, from where I'm standing with my back to it, okay. to do a backflip. Okay. Land on its back. Okay. Grab it by the mandibles and just rip them off. <gasps> okay. <Rock and> roll. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can take the one turn to make mm -hmm. the leap to try to get on its back. I may mm -hmm. make you wait for the next one mm -hmm. to attempt your, your okay. move. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm All gonna right. start. So, I'm gonna get a sleeper hold. Acrobatics check, I think. Yeah. To try yeah. to leap up over onto its back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you'd say athletics, but I can do acrobatics. I'm pretty sure this is gonna yeah. be an acrobatics. Oh god, I don't know about that one. We'll see. <laughs> no, no, so, not even close. She goes real low in nope. a squat and just yeah. tries to launch herself yeah. up, but she only no. goes like like two or three feet. <laughs> and it quit. It does not. It lands back down. It does I not work so well. You know what, Umber Hulk? You can just have this road. We'll go back home. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right, Ricky. I am going to pull out yet another flask. Okay. Uh, but this one is like a flat uh, potion bottle. Okay. Uh, with a silver liquid inside. Okay. And he's going to fling it like a frisbee at the creature. Got it. And it shatters, mm -hmm. and I've cast Moonbeam. And you're looking at him to do this? I am looking at okay, him. Okay, you're looking at to him to do, do this. All right, great. So, yeah, roll for that. What yes. A silvery beam of pale light shines down in a five foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder mm -hmm. centered on the point. Mm -hmm. uh, until the spell ends, dim light fills the cylinder. Mm -hmm. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn, or it starts its turn there, it is mm -hmm. engulfed in ghostly flames mm -hmm. that cause searing pain and must make a constitution saving throw. Okay, so on the t start of my turn, I'll make a con save. Yeah. Okay, make a charisma saving throw. Oh no. Oh no. So that would be a six. That would be a six. Yes, unfortunately you failed the Christmas oh, saving throw. You are now confused by this creature's eyes. But at least the spell's still there. At least the spell is still there. Uh -huh. Oofa, doofa. Um, Glass half full, Ricky. Oh, also, uh, the fairy fire goes out. Oh, that's because you're right. Concentration. This has concentration as well. Oh, gnome cunning. Ooh, ooh. I can take it. I have advantage on charisma saving throws. Try it again. <laughs> 14 plus 3, 17! Hey, you're fine! Yeah. I'm fine! That's I'm fine. <laughs> it's specifically with magic. Okay, great. Yeah, perfect. All right, great. You did it. But I've had enough okay. of this creature, and so I'm going to go ahead and do a hypnotic pattern. Okay. Okay, to distract this thing. Okay. Because you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. You're ready to go. All right. Please actually hit it this time. Very funny. So I am going to do a hypnotic pattern right in front of all those four eyes, uh -huh. all going different directions of mm -hmm. oozing caramel and peanuts. <laughs> Just and so intermixing it, it and is intermixing. Swirling. There's textures going on, and okay. this <laughs> this creature hungry. is right, just sorry. wanting to get its sweet tooth on. Okay, <laughs> okay, but so, like all over the place. I believe I make a wisdom save against this. Give it a shot. All right. <laughs> no, it's, you should think you can try. Is that yes, what it, it is? is a wisdom, wisdom save. <laughs> I do not make it. Ooh. Oh. So you need to go to a dentist. <laughs> Confections. So it stops and it starts. So it's a, I roll a fourteen. I think you're fifteen. 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 All right, doesn't work. So as this happened, you, you see it, it was kind of all set and ready to go and take another bite off of another person, mm -hmm. uh, but suddenly it looks up and its arms and claws fall to its side and it just sort of stares into space at this swirling confection of, of sugar. And I believe, what is the effect of that? It just uh, can't um, take actions, I think. Well, charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Incapacitated, great. All y'all's stuff, I think. Oh no, it stays, but we'll get it rid of it. Good. Okay, cool. It is standing there just staring at this amazing thing. Oh. I would make a con save, except I'm incapacitated. Right. Oh, yeah. So I think I just take your damage. Heck yeah. That's 2d10. Roll your 2d10. Uh, that is six. Uh, six damage from that? Six fire damage. All right. As it's sort of staring there, stay, this moonlight comes down and kind of lights its face on fire. Uh, now, if, oh, yeah. if my Umber Hulk takes damage, while being hypnotized, sometimes that allows me to save against. The spell ends for an affected creature it takes damage, okay. or if someone else uses the action. So yeah. I'm gonna try and save against it with another wisdom save. 
I don't make it. Mm, yes. Ooh. So it stays, it stays there. This moonbeam comes down, lights its face on fire, and it does nothing. <laughs> what, what do we have like another 30 <laughs> seconds on that spell? Like a she's bug holding? under a magnifying glass. Hmm? What do we have? Like another 30 seconds. Oh no, on you've this? got like like a long, uh, a long time. Great. You've got mm. like nine more rounds oh. of it. Mm -hmm. All right. That is its turn. It's gonna do nothing. It's just gonna stand there and stare at that thing. Ionis. Chop hmm. it down. Am I around the corner? You're so around it's the not corner. in my line of sight. No, you can you can oh, fire okay. at it. There's just a couple of trees. It's looking up. He's looking up. So I, I, I reach back and I knock two bow, You're two, behind two it, arrows. So you can't see its eyes. All the right. Fire. Two at the same time. Two at the same time. Mm -hmm. Love cool. It. Yeah. Roll two d20s for both the, of those I arrows. I kiss the edge. I kiss the <laughs> the, uh, the arrowheads. Okay. <laughs> See, fly, baby, fly. <laughs> you can take those they go through the arrows. Yep. And you're gonna add I believe plus eight. Yeah. Plus eight. To both of them. Mm -hmm. Some eight and a five. Uh, All right, so a 13. 13 and then what's the other 16. Oh, and a 16. Unfortunately, both of them miss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and just I say like whoops. Split, split across the side and go go off off to the side there. Well, um, I've never tried too. that before. I usually shoot one at a time. <laughs> That's my bad. I thought. I thought. I thought now's not the time cool. to experiment. <laughs> Ionis, so anything else you want to do? Uh, you want to command Fluffy? Because he's up next. I set Fluffy to be back and set himself up behind his legs. Okay, so he's sort of readied for something. Kind of re like even like against here in case someone wants to knock him back. Okay. So like this way. It's so like that way, just kind of readied. Okay. Here mm -hmm. at the side. Okay. And and then yeah, that's that's my. Cool. So it's under the back of his legs. Under the back of his legs. So the, if you're knocked down. All right, so Viros. We have an opportunity to run. Mm -hmm. I say we take it. Otherwise, I'm going to push this rat bastard over onto the ground using your cat as the staircase to hell. Do it. You want me to push it? Ah. Rush it. Okay, so using my pushing maneuver. Okay. I just barrel this thing down. So yeah, I think you're gonna make an attack with your Warhammer. Oh yes, the Warhammer. And the idea the is- the axe is still in it, yeah. and it's embarrassing mm -hmm. for it. You're gonna, you're <laughs> then gonna roll a d8, I believe, and add that damage, if you hit. If I hit. So you start with your, start with that roll, see if you hit with your Warhammer. Yeah. And you have two tries at this. Yep. Oh, so that's a nine. Plus six. Plus six. Is it 15? Oh, it's a six plus six, 12. Mm -hmm. 12, it, you will not hit with that. So try your oh, second attack. Again. Is a flub. You do not hit with that. What are these rolls? <laughs> I was rolling high. I know. Oh no, that's the wrong time for that. that. <laughs> that is that on you, Barrel. We're gonna try it. <laughs> Can't believe it. No one's running. All right. I. <laughs> you see, Barrel stretch out Betty like a golf club. No, uh, well, and like do a couple of incapacitated, test Incapacitated, you might have advantage on yeah, your Yeah, I attack. would think so. All right, so that Ooh. that was your first attack and you missed on both of them. Roll two d20 oh. for your second attack and let's give you advantage on it. Because it's incapacitated. It's a three. Well, now we have advantage on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Six, these dice six. are just, you know. <laughs> so unfortunately, on both of your advantage oh, attacks, you miss it. What are Switching these? these out. What are these? <laughs> Beryl, you now have advantage on attack if you want okay. it against an incapacitated yeah, creature. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to once again grab Betty. Okay. Uh, stretch out. Uh, okay. Which is a golf club. Take a couple of test swings because this thing's incapacitated, and then just a letter rip. All right. So yeah. two attacks with okay. advantage. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Uh, so I got a 19. That'll hit. Ooh. Okay. And then I got a two plus four plus two, so an eight. An eight, all right, go for to your the kneecaps. second attack. Ooh, the kneecap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so I got a 20. Oh, mm -hmm. oh natural, 20. oh, dirty 20, yep. okay. So you're good to hit on that, yes? Yep. Roll your damage. Ooh, I got 15, 17. Woo, on that. With these two hits, she comes forward, and with slash one, one kneecap goes. With sl it, it even falls to the ground a little bit. With second one, it goes. As this happens, you can actually see that because of that damage, it seems to be shaken from its hypnotic uh, state. Mm -hmm. However, it doesn't matter. That second axe comes down right on its head. Mm -hmm. You have a dead umber. Yeah. 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 Yes. There we go. 
<laughs> Sorry about my arrows, guys. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry about the completely uh, lack of performance at the end. <laughs> Anybody see where those went? <laughs> you can go pull them out of the out of the yeah. side of it. Pull my axe out. Like, I hope get that all your axes back. Uh, you continue to walk bit, down this path. Go yes. ahead. I'd actually like to harvest yeah. some of the umber hulk. You absolutely may. Yeah. So to I get would a little like, knife. Yeah. Some fluids or in yeah. the fantastic. Bits. I would like to also take out its eyes. Absolutely. So those. you have a little a jar or something you can keep them in. Yeah. So yes, you have four umber hulk eyes. Oh, mm-hmm. cool. Right. Now we can continue. Now we can continue. Uh, you go, go ahead and develop something. I was gonna see you get rid of it. Get it. We don't want to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you continue down this path, and you suddenly come to an open clearing. And in this open clearing, you see five glowing lights, just like what you have seen with the hidden ones. However, each of them is a different color. One of them is red. One is yellow, one is purple, one is green, and one is blue. In this clearing, you see no other way to leave the clearing. All you see are these lights flickering at the edge of the clearing. Yeah, let's see. Ionis, have, have you seen something like this before? I think I've heard tell of them. They're the lights of Manulak. If I, th- I think they are. I can't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. That's what you've heard. Wow. That's what I've heard. I, in front of it, I present a seed. Okay. And I perform my dance. Perform your dance. To see if this, this is a message from the, the hidden ones. Mm-hmm. As you do your dance, and, and, it's, and again, it's, you're very practiced at it now, so it goes yeah. very well. The, the lights glow brighter and then come back down to their normal light. And they seem to pulse a little bit, beckoning you, looking tempting. These five lights. I believe perhaps one of them might be what we're looking for. The gem? The gem wow. could be encased in one of these lights. Really? Yeah, I think I'd heard that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I would say either the red or yellow one then. Oh, because that's traditional lights of fire. Yes, that's very good scientific. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe uh, we should like talk to them. Maybe. You know? Knock, knock. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Beryl. I'm also a gem. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you talking to? All of them. All of them. Standing, okay. like, in the middle. standing in the center, talking to all. Surrounded of the by lights. light. Okay. Uh, you've led us this far. Thank you, great forest spirits. I too am from the forest. <laughs> Guys are great. We come seeking your bounty of gem of fire, so that we may keep it from those who would do unto others harm with it. Can you please show us the way? Uh, you can make a persuasion check. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, add sort of an advantage to this uh-huh. by sprinkling a uh, druid craft around and just making plants kind of. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and take it with advantage. <laughs> oh, sweet. So many offerings. Oh. Uh, so that, that helps. That gives me 12. A 12? Mm-hmm. Again, all of them glow brighter and then get darker, and again, just sort of pulse in the air. I'm going to... Uh, but they moved, you see. I did see that. <laughs> walk up to them, Yes. and uh, I'm going to go towards the red one, Okay. and reach out a tiny gnome finger. Little gnome yes. finger, touch and it. you touch it? Yes. You and this light disappear. Oh no. <gasps> Put that in front of you, Oh please. no, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, only four lights remain, and the four That's of you. That's not good. Listen, we need to take the risks that Ricky took, <laughs> and we need to believe. Mm. Ricky was bold, so must we be. Let us go, brother. Oh, Let God. us go. Don't <laughs> start to light. The purple one? You pick a purple one? <laughs> you disappear, so does that light. What do you touch? Oh, My God. sister in arms. <laughs> She's gone. Odin. All right. Annabella? I don't know if we should touch the light. <laughs> I don't know about that. Have you heard of any, any lore, any stories of such? Yeah, I heard they make you disappear if you touch them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is staring in the sky. Oh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> if you wanted to, you could make a roll out of you that. You could, if you if you wanted to say a oh. sense of like, how, do you have any sense of what this is? Oh, With advantage, I... you can make a wisdom check. Okay, that. I kind of like go back and I kind of remember. I'm trying to remember I'm if anything remember, happened like this. Do you close my eyes and I just think about light in general. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so I'm like, oh, that's right. To you take the higher. To the higher. Oh. And then I kind of like just think through my internal roll decks. So that's that plus your wisdom? Plus that's my three. wisdom, so so 13? A 13? I, you, you, you don't know this before, but you do trust the hidden ones. Yeah. That, in, that, that you, you don't believe that they would lead you directly into danger. I feel, I was, I feel a sense, this is not... Malevolent? Malevolent. Okay. 
So I jump on, uh, on Fluffy, on Fluffy okay. and I go and I grab the blue orb. You disappear, as does Fluffy, as Anna, does that light. Annabella, we need, to, left. we need to trust this. Which one? I will be behind you, my darling. I can take care of myself and I'll go yellow. <laughs> Annabella steps up, she reaches out, she touches the light, she disappears, so does the light. Virus, you are alone in a clearing. Wondering if there's a time for an ale or a pub. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. Okay, I touch the green. All right, here's the green, you disappear. All right, we're gonna take this in steps. Now, each of you finds yourself standing alone on a pathway, looking down at a cabin. Now, we'll start with you down at your end. As you stand there, you look at this cabin and, and you're listening and you think you can hear crying in the cabin. What would you do? You start to feel this, you start to feel this intense sadness, like something terrible is happening in that cabin and, and, and your heart begins to swell and, and, and you feel this overwhelming sadness. What would you do? How far away is the cabin? It's right up in front of you. It's right up in front of me. Uh, can I look in through the window? Yeah, you walk in through the window and you, you look through the window and as you look in, you see a small little family of bunnies. But they sort of stand on their hind legs and they're a little humanoid, but they look so frail and thin like they haven't eaten in forever. And one little bunny sort of reaches out trying to just nibble this tiny little crumb that's on the table. We'll hold you there for a moment. We're gonna go to you, Ricky. You appear in a path alone looking at this cabin. While you're standing there, inside you can hear some people screaming for their lives and another one is threatening them. However, you start to get mad. You say, God damn this, nobody threatens someone in my forest. What would you do? I'm Feeling gonna rush forward. Anger. You rush forward? And pound on the door. Pound, you knock on the door, mm -hmm. pounding on the door. The door flies open and standing beside there is this large, dark shape and it is hovering over a cowering family of humanoid bunnies that shake in fear. We're gonna hold you there. Oh. Annabella, you come to in this path by yourself looking at this cabin and you get this horrible feeling that something awful is going on in that cabin. Something, a chill runs up your spine and, and, and you begin to shake a little bit. What would you do? Can I do a healing word uh, for yeah. the cabin? You wanna try to, <laughs> for the cabin well, for or the whatever's bunnies, inside? yeah. Okay, well you don't know, <laughs> any, you don't know what's in there. I wanna heal what's in there whatever so that is it in doesn't there. hurt anybody. Okay, so you cast a little healing word, at the, you, say, you say a word towards the cabin? Yes. All right, as that happens, the door opens slowly with a creak. And a little bunny with sharp teeth sticking out and blood dripping from the fang starts oh to goodness. walk forward towards you and you are terrified. Oh, yeah. We will hold you there for a moment. <laughs> Viros, though, we are now in your turn. You show up in this space and, and you look at this house and you're like, fuck this house, I've seen better houses than this. This piece of crap. <laughs> so what do you do? Still curious. Okay. So I go towards it. You open the door, you look in, and you see a huge pile of money, and sitting on top of that money is a big, fat bunny. <laughs> he's just sitting there, and he's counting his money, and he looks at you, walks in, and he goes, you want my money. Yeah, I don't want he what he's doing, but I kind of want the money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm proud of you. <laughs> he's so, here in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna hold you there. Mm -hmm. Purple, mm -hmm. you end up in this space, and you are feeling like hot shit, like you're kind of the greatest, and you mm -hmm. say you go and you open the door. Yeah. In there, there is like this bunny sitting at the head of the table, and it sees you walk in and it goes, oh my God, you are gorgeous. And this bunny stands up and it kind of walks towards you with a little like swagger. It's and a really step, sexy bunny. And comes up <laughs> right next to you and goes, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This bunny really wants me. Okay, so we go back to you. You are alone. Uh, you're looking at these sad, starving bunnies. Now you're gonna make a wisdom saving throw. Compassion. I feel it. I'm about to whelp my eyes. Yes. An eight. Plus? Plus three, so 11. 11. You look out, and this little bunny, now you see it's trying to drag itself with one arm. Its other leg is like lame, and it's trying to pull itself closer to the crumb, and a single tear starts to stream down your face. <laughs> anything you'd like to do? Do we have any food or anything? I probably pocket? have rations. Yeah, you've got rations. Have rations. You pull food out? I pull food out, yeah. and I set it on the ground in front of me. Okay. Mr. Fluffy is there with you, too, and he's kind of like, ah, 
oh, what's going on? Uh -huh. You sort of see him like he can't really understand what's happening. Um, in fact, he starts to claw at your leg to try to get your attention. Fluffy, what? This is compassion. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, your turn. Yes. Uh, so make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Seven. A seven. So yeah, this anger is starting to well up in you harder and harder and bigger and bigger and this huge dark shape was threatening these poor little bunnies. What would you do? I want to go and stand between the bunnies and the shape. Okay, so you, you run in between them yeah. and spread your arms yep. to try and stop him? Not on my watch. Okay, fantastic. Annabella, you are seeing this scary, vernacular, scary vampire vernicular. bunny is coming towards you with its big ugly teeth. Can Make a wisdom bunnies. saving throw. Do I add anything to that? Well, no, no. it's just a natural one. It's just a natural no, one. No, that's a, oh, that's a one. That's yeah. a one. So it's coming closer and closer to you, and you start shaking more and more and more, and you feel a scream coming on. Can I scream? You scream? Okay, I'm screaming at he it. He screams at it. Leave me alone, or what do you do? Yeah, no, I, I just go like, <laughs> it's like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> All right. Is it scared? Is it going away? It is not going away. It's actually coming closer and closer, oh, and it gosh. seems to be getting bigger and bigger, and its teeth longer and longer. Mm -hmm. Beryl, yes. so you are here with this sexy bunny standing mm -hmm. right in front of you. Make a wisdom mm -hmm. saving throw. Oh. 15? Suddenly, it disappears. You stand in this room, you see all of your compatriots are standing mm -hmm. around you, but they seem in a weird daze, their eyes are all glazed over. Mm -hmm. And you look over onto a cot that's in this, in this uh, cabin, you see a little family of stuffed animal bunnies that are on the cot. You also see a big chest in the corner. As you are here, you can see that all of your friends are kind of going, you see, you see Jonas, he's lying food on mm -hmm. the floor. Ricky has run up and he's just put his hands out and he's going, mm -hmm. stop! And Annabelle is standing in the door going, ah! <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What would you do? What do you want to do? Oh man, clearly they're enchanted. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm not that dumb. I don't know if I should try to shake them awake or if I should try to do something to the bunnies or if that's just going to traumatize them more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk over to Viros mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and slap him. You slap him as hard as I can. Absolutely. You slap him across the face. Make a wisdom saving throw. Thirteen. Thirteen plus. Nothing. Zero. So he doesn't unfortunately wake up mm -hmm. from that. Viros, though, we are now in your turn. This really snooty, mad little bunny. Although it's your turn again, too, so make another wisdom save. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 15. You suddenly snap out of it. She slapped you and you stayed in it and she even saw a sneer start to come up, but suddenly your eyes open and blink a little bit and you see Beryl standing in front of you. Annabella is still screaming uh -huh. and shaking. He's laying out really? food for nothing. Oh. You also see these stuffed bunnies. What would you like to do? You said there was a chest. There is a chest in the corner. That's where it's coming from. You think so? Yeah. It's not the bunnies. Let's break it. Let's just smash it. Let's smash it. Oh, I'm sorry, bunnies. I go over towards the chest. Uh -huh. Warhammer. Break it open. Don't break worry, it you open. just hit it. Oh, I like when you Warhammer. Bam! Yeah. Bam! You hit it really hard. One thing you do notice on the chest, it does have a CF initials on it. <gasps> oh. Oh, so God. you smash the chest. <laughs> you smash the chest. the chest open and the top goes over. There's all kinds of amazing, there's jewelry and coins and mirrors and, and little potions and you see a giant gem that seems to be flickering. I see the gem. Mm -hmm. I see the fire gem. I pick it up. Okay. And I hold it Looks in my like hands. And I scream, this will go back to its rightful owner. Break the spell, now! Uh, that, that doesn't do anything, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so we're back over at you. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh, he's, but I'm so sorry, pal. <laughs> eat. Why won't you eat? A 20. Ooh. A 20. Yeah. You're sitting here, tears streaming down your face. <laughs> Fluffy's tanking. And, and you're laying out little crumbs of things. Suddenly, you shake your, your head, and, and you can see your friend standing in the middle. And going, Break the spell! Holding <laughs> oh, a giant did it. Why are they still in a trance? She's still screaming. No. What would you like to do? <laughs> I give you a little punch in the gut to try and wake you up. Okay, make Ooh, a wisdom saving okay, throw. Okay, well, we could be nice about it, but whatever. <laughs> Cold water would work. Oh no, the nine. It didn't work. All right, so unfortunately it doesn't work. We come over towards you. Make another wisdom saving throw, top yes. of your turn. And I'm going to use my gnome cunning, because it's a magic. Yeah. 
A natural 20. Boom. You also wake up. Again, you took this thing to the gut and it kind of didn't work. And you were like raising to get angry and hit something. And suddenly you freeze and your eyes clear and you see everything. Annabella is still standing Sorry, bud. in the door, oh. screaming and shaking. Oh. Oh. About three uh, seconds from urine running down her leg. Go oh glad. <laughs> uh, uh, I know what's happening. It's an enchantment. <laughs> so I'll run over to her and I'll slap her across the you face. You slap her across the uh, face. Oh. I'll slap Make her in the kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> Make a wisdom save. One. <laughs> oh. oh. She's still screaming. In fact, it's getting worse now. She drops to her knees. <laughs> what did uh, you do? Make Why a wisdom saving throw like for the that. top of your turn on a ballot. Me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> 15. Fifteen. You suddenly wake up. You you're all are level. now. You're at eye level. So you start. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> did you hit me? Sorry. <laughs> Did Let's be honest, him? we all hit each other. <laughs> so you're awake. You have oh, the gem. Whoa, what, what, what is that? It's the gemstone of fire. Let's get, get out, of here. out of here. Let's go. <laughs> do you want to look at the chest? No, yeah, I have to. Just, yeah. It's, it's the probably chest. all cursed. We should just leave it. I don't want go. nothing from this cabin. I have to Same. Look. We have to look. Take we have We must go. All okay. right, I'll catch up. He's running, so you guys run out of the We're going cabin. back to the destination. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, mm -hmm. you go into the chest, you get 500 gold pieces. Oh, you bet I do. You get jewelry worth 250 gold pieces. You can take eight small painted mirrors if you'd like. Uh-huh. You have two potions of healing. Wow. And a helm of comprehending. Wow. And you don't have to tell Novi about that uh -uh. if you don't want. Or well, tell me later. Okay, I'll tell you later. All right, so you leave the cabin, you've got the gem stashed in your house. You even do, I think, a little, little tracking trying to see there's no footprints here, so no one's been here yet. Mm -hmm. Right now you are alone in this space. However, a light shows up. Now this one is a pure white light, and it starts to move through the forest, and you chase it, following it through the woods, and it takes you all the way back to Pine Swallow Valley. When you come there, even the last like few hundred feet, you see Christopher and Helga. They say, ah, oh, yes, you've made it back. Hi, we Helga. found Magnus. <gasps> what? Unfortunately, he could not make it through the woods. We found his body after we came searching for you. He did not make it. I hope you found what you were after. You mean this? Okay, who take that away from Show him. it to everybody. <laughs> oh, this is my, my, my fist. He says, if you did make it through, that means that the Hidden Ones really, truly have blessed you and believe in you. And I have indeed, a funny way of showing it. <laughs> the light that you were following kind of spins and circles around, and suddenly a very short man, about two feet tall, with a big pot belly, and he's covered in long, scraggly hair, and he's got long limbs, and he sort of looks at all of you, he smiles and waves, turns back into his little light, and flies away. You see the eyes of Christopher and Helga, and they are bright with joy, and they say, Today is truly, truly blessed. You have done well by the forest. What a sweet little old man that just appeared. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So yes, you find your way back to Relics and Rarities. You bring her the fire gem. Yay! I found that. So you found the fire gem. You've brought it back to Professor Rowland. He's so grateful for this. And she says, well, I think I shall have to spend the night going over some of the rest of these and, and, and we'll see what we can do tomorrow with your adventure. I Thank told you I wouldn't get lost, didn't I? <laughs> right, it was really smooth. <laughs> we, but really, we, we owe a debt to you, Eonius. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Eonius. Your pack looks a little heavy there. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and Mr. Fluffy, what a fantastic cat. Yes. <laughs> Fluffy and I will miss you. We spent a short amount of time together, but it was full of adventure and I'd fight alongside you any day. He also realized I should have cast uh, a couple spells that I knew <laughs> uh, to get us past that first piece, but I just love the adventure. You Woo! inspired me, mm. and it was fun. Mm. <laughs> well, Ionis, thank you very much for lending your expertise. I am sure it would have been much harder without your aid. <laughs> thank you. You are a true gentleman and a hero. Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah. Huzzah. And I jump on Mr. <laughs> Fluffy and I jump out of a window. Oh my god! That's so cool! Perfect! <laughs>